I thought we could start with talking about the dip because you see so many coaches try and train players not to. What does that do for you? I, I, I mean, it's hard to say what it does for me because that's always been my shot, and I've had coaches try to keep me from uh, dipping my ball. But you, you know, you gather your strength the best way you can. Most of my shot is in my in my uh, legs. So if I get my legs moving fast enough, then you won't even really notice that I dip it. Um, we, we, I like to call you a hop shooter, but you pretty much do both one-two and hop. Can you give us a little insight into how that works and when you want a one-two versus when you want a hop? Uh, it's never predetermined. It just depends on the situation I'm in. I, I don't I don't predetermine or think I'm going to do it a certain way at any given time. It's just you know, sometimes you're you're coming from so many different angles. So you got to hop into it. You know, create uh, some movement, some rhythm, and then sometimes you just you just got to jump. You know, you're flat-footed, so you got to create your own energy. So you don't, do you don't have a preference between hop and a one-two? No. Do you think that you might be uh, a better shooter if you do one of those over the other more consistently? No. It's all, no. About, it's all about situation. Yeah, because you can't. You can't teach somebody to do one type of shooting because the game is going to dictate what type of shooting you have, so you have to do everything. If you put somebody in the box and they're going to be a standstill shooter or they're going to be a, a one-way uh, jump shooter, and, you know, once – if you get to college, you might be able to get away with it, but once you make it to the league, they'll figure you out and they'll take you – be able to get you off your shot and then you won't really be effective.